Uh, let's look at the facts. Mr. Castor, uh, Ukraine, uh, that's been at the center of attention in this impeachment hearing, uh, has historically been one of the world's most corrupt nations. Is that correct? That's correct. And under legislation that Congress passed, the National Defense Authorization Act, it was President Trump's responsibility, his duty, to see that U.S. tax dollars did not go to Ukraine unless they were making progress in reducing corruption. Is that also right? Yes, that's right. And isn't it true that Joe Biden's son, Hunter, had placed himself right smack dab in the middle of that corruption? Yes, he did. Burisma was one of the most corrupt companies in Ukraine. And contrary to what House Democrats and many in the media would have you believe, the concerns about Hunter Biden's involvement in Ukrainian corruption, uh, they're not some sort of vast right-wing conspiracy concocted by supporters of the president, are they? In fact, the concerns about Hunter Biden were first raised by the Obama administration. Is that right? That's right. And also um, Washington Post, a lot of publications, and uh, the State Department. And the Obama administration's concerns about Obama uh, didn't end there, did they? The former ambassador to Ukraine, uh, Marie Yovanovitch, said she was coached by the Obama administration on how to answer pesky questions related to Hunter Biden and Burisma uh, that might arise during her Senate confirmation process. Is that right? The State Department was so concerned about this, they gave her a mock Q&A on this question. And nearly every single witness who testified at the Intelligence Committee impeachment inquiry agreed that Hunter Biden's Burisma deal created, at the very least, the appearance of conflict of interest. Is that correct? That's correct. And, you know, De Deputy Assistant Secretary George Kent testified that there was an investigation into Burisma, into their, their head, Zochevsky, and they were trying to track down 23 million that he had he had taken out of the country. They were working with the United Kingdom. They were working, uh, the United States, the United Kingdom, U Ukraine was working on tracking this money down. And there was an investigation, an active investigation going on, and a bribe was paid. And that bribe was paid. It allowed Zolchevsky to, to get off scot-free. Right around that time is when Burisma went about uh, sprucing up their board, shall we say. And, and yet, with all that evidence, the Democrats on the Intelligence Committee under Chairman Schiff and now the Democrats here are determined to sweep the Biden corruption under the rug, ignore it, uh, not let us call witnesses on it, and instead rush to impeach the president, all to satisfy, I would argue, their radical left-wing base. What a disservice uh, to the country. Imagine this. You've got the vice president, Joe Biden, in charge of overseeing our Ukrainian policy, and his son, Hunter Biden, receiving 50 grand a month with no identifiable expertise in either energy or Ukraine, yet the Democrats won't let us present witnesses on that. So let's do the next best thing since we can't bring the witnesses here. Uh, let's watch a couple of videos. You didn't have any extensive knowledge about natural gas or Ukraine itself, though. Uh, no. The list that you gave me of the reasons why you're on that board, you did not list the fact that you were the son of the vice president. Of course, president. yeah. No, I, what I, role do you think that played? I think that it is impossible for me to be on any of the boards that I just mentioned without saying that I'm the son of the vice president of the United States. If your last name wasn't Biden, do you think you would have been asked to be on the board of Burisma? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. You know, Joe Biden got a little testy with a voter at one of his events in Iowa last week, calling the man a liar, challenging him to a push-up contest, among other things, and falsely, falsely stating once again that nobody said there was anything wrong with his son's deal in Ukraine. Well, you know what? That's a lot of malarkey. A lot of people have been saying that for quite a while now, and they're right. And what's worse is that first the Intelligence Committee and now this committee are conducting an impeachment investigation against President Trump based on, as Professor Turley put it last week, wafer-thin evidence and ignoring evidence of a high-level U.S. official who actually did engage in a quid pro quo with the Ukrainian government.